Impact, ladies and gentlemen, as we return to Impact, it's time for an explanation from AJ Styles. Throw it up, Impact Zone! Look what we've got here! Look what we have got here! I told you, Bischoff, that AJ Styles' fortune were not taking a back seat to anyone. You brought this all on yourself. All on your face, all on your head, all on your bed, all of your home, wherever it is that you lay, it's on you. This is fortune and this is our home. Who did you think I was talking about, Bischoff? Who did you think I was talking about? Did you think we were talking about some other guys? <laughs> them, them is us. You ungrateful son of a bitch. Bastard! You bastard! You inbred! Nothing happening, you four people, you four punks. You amounted to nothing before Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff got here. Nothing. You weren't worth the crap it would take to fertilize your grave until we made you something. And now this is how you repay us. This is how you repay them? Hold on a minute. What are you so pissed off about? Are you so pissed off that we saw through your smoke and mirrors your lies, you stupid bastard? Smoke and mirrors? Smoke and mirrors? I forgot more success than you've ever been associated with. You, you punk ass put midget. A million dollar company out of business. Gonna run you out of business, and you came here to TNA to try to do the same, and it's not gonna happen. And it all started when you and Hogan stepped into TNA. You started spending money, you started changing things, and you were hiring guys that didn't deserve to be in wrestling in the first place. You're digging your own grave, AJ. You and Fortune and the crap you're in the ring with. The only reason you're there is because of the hard work that these guys did putting you there. Jeff Hardy is more of a success on his worst day than you'll ever be in your entire career. Face it. Let me tell you a little bit about TNA. These are the guys, these are the men that built this company. My ass. My ass. You guys were nothing until Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff got here. And you won't be anything unless you're associated with us. So let me tell you something. Let me tell you to mark a date on your calendar, AJ. March 3rd. I just got the call. Yeah, we got a little bit of a delay in the court hearing thanks to Dixie Carter and her punk ass attorneys. But on March 3rd, the decision will be handed down. Hogan will give control to this company. And myself and the rest of the mortar are going to hang you out to dry. You and everybody in the ring with you. Oh, really? Oh, really? Well, well, let's think about that for a second. How exactly is that going to happen when Fortune takes the part immortal piece by piece, one by one, with the exclamation point being me sticking my foot so far down your throat that you'll be pissing out shoelaces. Wow, on a night when Immortal thought that they were regaining all the power Fortune stands up to Eric Bischoff. Taz, they are indeed here, and they are Fortune.
Simple.